Hello and welcome back to Car Rental University. I am your host, Alex Witherow. Today we're going to talk about the 2022 auto market and car loans and financing. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. Lots of great information in there. Also, give this channel a subscribe. We're constantly uh, talking about different things that pertain to different car share platforms. Um, also, I am still doing free 30-minute consultations. If you go to the intro video on this channel, you will see the video about that. Uh, you can sign up there for them. We've have been having lots of great uh, conversations with people about their businesses. I've saved a lot of people from some major mistakes thus far, so <laughs> uh, I'm happy to do it. So anyway, <clears throat> let's talk about this current auto buying market and you know the different uh, financing type options and whatnot. And I think that this is a time right now where it is very easy to get over leveraged in your business, especially with auto loans. So first of all, you know, as we all know, car prices are very high right now. Getting anything under MSRP right now is very difficult. Um, you know, that all that to say, um, I would tell you that you know, if you're going to take out a loan on a car, now I've done videos before on how to build a loan-free fleet. Um, you know, there are ways to do that. Um, but if you are going to take out a loan, and, and like I've said before, I don't think it's a, a big deal to take out one or two loans on cars and your fleets to get yourself started. Um, but right now, I would say it's very easy to get a car where you're going to have a monthly payment of six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, maybe a tad more. If your payment is getting up into that range, this is not gonna be good for you, I promise. You're gonna be over leveraged. Um, <clears throat> when your car payment gets that high, um, you're, you're gonna get into a place where, you know, and I, I know that there are some instances where Turo can handle that kind of level of payment. Uh, if you have maybe like $1,000 a month on a car, maybe a Tesla, and you can make you know that back uh, pretty easily, maybe uh, within a week or so in certain markets, okay? But listen, my philosophy on all this is don't get over leveraged. I think that you just gotta play it safe, especially the lower the car payment is, the more flexibility you have to play different car share platforms and um, and, and make money and not have to worry about <clears throat> covering a payment or anything like that. What's happening a lot right now is that um, a lot of people, especially during you know the stimulus um, uh, checks that, that went out, a lot of people got really nice cars, they started putting them on Turo and whatnot, and there's been a downturn. And so these, a lot of these cars are getting repoed and it's affecting people's credit. You don't want that to happen. That's not a good scenario. Not it's not. You can um, re recover from that, but you know that it's not something you want to deal with. Um, so that said, look, play it safe. Do the best you can to get that payment around, you know, three three hundred, four hundred, five hundred a month. I would keep it in that range. You know, you can get lower level cars. Um, you know, if you, if, um, you know, I've seen some lease agreements out there that, um, don't really care what you do with the car, but you know, you put maybe two or 3000 down and you'll have a monthly payment of around, you know, 300, 350 or so. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, so all that to say that, um, you know, I would be just extra specially careful right now of keeping these, uh, the payments on these cars as low as possible. Um, and I, I just think it's better for you and it's gonna be a lot less stress, all right? So all that to say, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, I think it's it's very tempting to get four or five, six car loans and, you know, get into a place where, um, you know, you've got that. Now, I've done that before. Um, I was running a, a fairly different model at the time. Um, I was working with Uber drivers that I personally vetted myself. Um, and I was living in New York City when I did that. And so, you know, they weren't running up tons of mileage on the cars. Um, I had very reliable guys who were, you know, consistently paying and, you know, no problem. So everything was paid off pretty much in a week uh, in, uh, throughout the month. Uh, but that said, you know, uh, with economic times kind of like going up and down right now, you know, I, I really would just recommend keeping everything as simple as possible 
get those midsize or, or, or economy level type cars, and you're gonna have a lot of flexibility, all right? So uh, before I go, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business, and I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you.